What do you get when you cross a broken curtain rod with a refrigerator? I don't know, what? Breakfast! Is that a joke? Is that supposed to be funny? <laughs> That's way funny! <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more, I don't, I don't get it. Meg really is an excellent cook. I don't know what that means to, to use a curtain rod and a fridge, but she's an excellent cook. Look at this right behind her. What did she make today? Ooh, banana bread just came out of the oven. I'm gonna eat it. So today I'm gonna show you how I make cereal. Um, making cereal was the first thing that I learned how to make after I got paralyzed. You know, I, I, I was 22 when I got paralyzed and paralyzed hands and paralyzed legs and wheelchair and um, I came home to my house and I lived in this wheelchair accessible basement apartment of my parents home and you know my mom would help me you know she'd feed me all of the food you know I wouldn't I didn't have to do very much um, and then one day I was just in my little basement apartment by myself and I got hungry and I live in the age of cell phones and I could have called my mom up and been like, mom, I'm hungry. And she would have like rushed me down some delicious thing that she would have made because she's like a chef and a super good cook. But I wanted to do it by myself. And so I go into my kitchen and I was like, what can I make? And I decide on cereal, okay? I think I can do it. I think I can do it. And so I go over to the cabinet and I have never opened the cabinet before. Um, before this day, but I, I go next to it and I, you know, wiggle around and I figure out how I can do it. And I finally am able to open the cabinet and like angels fly out because they're like so excited that I'm able to open the cabinet. I'm like, oh. And I reach in and I get the bowl. I put it on my lap. I roll over to the table and I put the bowl on the table and seriously, like the angel choir, oh, like it's glowing. It's, I feel amazing. I go back into the kitchen and you kind of got that one drawer that just sort of sticks a little bit, but you know, grab the handle and pull, 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 and I'm able to open that silverware drawer and then I reach down with both hands and I grab all of the spoons because I don't have enough dexterity to grab just one. And so I shake them until all the spoons fall except one and I put it on my lap and I roll, I shut the drawer and then I roll over to the table and I put the spoon by the bowl and I straighten them up and there is no art in any museum that looked more beautiful than that bowl next to that spoon. I felt awesome. So I go back in, I'm gonna get the milk. And I'm nervous because milk is heavy, milk is heavy. And so I'm like, and plus I've never opened the fridge before, but I have that fridge that kind of opens the two doors side by side, it's not top and bottom. And so I learn after much trial and error that if I'm side, sideways to the fridge and I slide my little hand down the middle and then rotate my hand, it actually opens the door that I'm away from. And so that's still kind of how I open the door sometimes now. So anyway, I open the fridge door and I'm in luck because the milk is almost gone, so it's super light. So I'm able to lift it up out of the fridge, put it on my lap, roll over to the table, put the milk on the table. So the milk is next to the bowl, it's next to the spoon. The angel choir is singing, it, everything's glowing. Like, it, this is an amazing day. And it's already taken me kind of a long time to get to this point, you know? I've probably been working in the in the kitchen to get the bowl and the spoon and the milk. I've probably been in there like half an hour already, but I have it and I feel so good about myself to be able to do it by myself. And I go back in for the cereal and I open the cupboard and there's no cereal. So then I'm like, okay, well then I go to the next cupboard and then the next one and then the next one and the next one and I go to all the cupboards that are down low and there's no cereals anywhere. And there are no cupboards up high in that kitchen. My mom, when she found out I was gonna be in a wheelchair, she made that basement apartment wheelchair accessible. And because people in wheelchairs don't need upper cupboards, she took them out. So they weren't even there, they didn't even exist. And so, so I looked in all the cupboards, I couldn't find them. Um, and I was like, where are those cereals? And then when I did find them, I did this. I don't know if my family's always done this or if it was new since my mom took out all of the upper cupboards in the basement, but for some reason, all of the cereals were on top of the refrigerator. 
But I had the bowl, and I had the spoon, and I had the milk, and I would have that cereal. <laughs> there's, there's this quote, um, what counts is not necessarily the size of the dog in the fight, but the size of the fight in the dog. And I was gonna put up a big fight to get this cereal, and I remembered in a back hallway they were doing some construction, um, still on this basement apartment, and there was a broken curtain rod on the floor, and it's like, oh my gosh. So I roll into this back uh, hallway, and I lean down, and I get the broken curtain rod, and I put it in my mouth, and I bite it like a pirate because I don't have enough back muscles. I don't have, my back muscles don't work, and so I have to use my hands to push myself back up, you know, with the curtain rod in my mouth. This is the actual broken curtain rod. You saved that for 18 years. I know. It's like a, I don't, I still use it. <laughs> and so then I'm like, you know, going over to the fridge, take the curtain rod out, steady myself, you know, say a prayer. Then I tell the fridge to say a prayer. And I beat the fridge with all of my might until all of the cereals come crashing down. And then finally the checks fell, which is the one that I wanted. So I lean down, pick it up. Um, I have to bite it, you know, of course, because I need to use my hands to push myself back up. And then I roll over to the table and I open up the checks and pour it and checks goes everywhere. And then I pour the milk and milk goes everywhere. But when my mom came downstairs to check on me, I was eating cereal that I had made myself. So that was 18 years ago. And I still make cereal to this day. My family still eats cereal, you know, approximately once a week or depending on, you know, how pregnant I'm feeling. <laughs> so let's make some cereal, shall we? on top of the fridge anymore. They're nice and low. So wheelchair people and little kids can get them. Cereal day is like special treat day, so we, they're like sugary. So don't be judging me. <laughs> don't be judging me, cereal. We only eat it once a week. It's a special treat that we get. And so yeah, we get the sugar ones because otherwise it would just be like every other day of the week. Now I've discovered the cutting board option to carry all of my cereals to the, to the table. And we don't have any checks today, but you know, we got a little assortment. I've since learned how to pour cereal. And milk. Actually, instead of doing it this way, I do it this way. Okay, breakfast is served. We're ready to eat. What is your favorite cereal? <laughs> Great loop. Daisy, what's your favorite cereal? Fruit Loops. What's your favorite cereal, Mom? <laughs> when I was a kid, my favorite cereal was Basic Four. <laughs> you were basically deprived of cereal. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get sugar cereals when I was a kid. But now I'm just probably boring. I like Cheerios. <laughs> we always had Honey Nut Cheerios when I was little. Mm. So there you go, there you go. That is how I make cereal for breakfast. So come on over for breakfast it's and I'll- It's dinner. <laughs>
<laughs> this is actually a first. <laughs> it's dinner. Who likes cereal for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, you got us. So, but if you wanted to come over and have cereal any time of day, you know, we can whip it up. No problem. You don't need you don't need nothing except good old fashioned grit, huh? <laughs> so remember, when your life gets to where to stand, just keep on rolling. <laughs>